a lot of people about these particular shoes. A pair came out in 2011. A pair came out in 2016. A lot of people, some people say they wore them. Some people displayed them. I kind of left mine just gathering dust. Yes, my people, how are we doing? Darren Bent here for the YouTube channel. It's Darren here, by the way, Darren Bent. Listen, this, is, this video is a bit different because I've been speaking to you about, obviously, various sneakers that I've picked up that are quite new, some that are old. And this time is one where, you know, when you go around the loft, I put something on my Instagram where I was having a look around the loft, quite dust up there, a few cobwebs. Um, and I found a pair of Hyper Adapts. Now, these are an original pair of Hyper Adapts. Um, I can't remember what year they were. But obviously, I charged them. I put it up, Darren Bent, um, at Darren Bent on Instagram. So you can have a look at that video. Check it out. Where I put them on charge and you put your foot in there, all powered, laced up. So I thought, you know what? Let me have a good search around the loft and see what I can find. And I came out of some absolute bangers. Um, now, the reason why I didn't put these uh, on my story on Instagram, because I felt they, they deserve more respect than just putting out a, a minute clip on social so um i know these a lot of people about these particular shoes a pair came out in 2011 a pair came out in 2016 a lot of people some people say they wore them some people displayed them i kind of left mine just gathering dust why i don't know it's quite poor but they are an absolute banger of a shoe uh made famous in the 1989 uh film back to the future part two now i know eight, part one came out in 85 i think 84 85 Part two came out in 89, and that's where you saw this particular shoe. Power laces, all right. Absolutely fantastic. The Nike Air Mags, I've been showing it no respect, but I wanted to share that with you. So let's get the shoe out and let's have a look. Right, let's start by getting you this big, big ass box. Look at that. Damn. It's obviously got the magnetic anti-gravity. Now, I, I obviously, when this came out in 2011, which is when I got these, auction. You, you couldn't buy them unless you obviously resell them, but they came out in auction. Let's open up the box. Let's get them out here. Look at that. There's one. There's other. Now, these are hyped up to the max, as you well know. We go in there, we've got the accessories. Of course, you had the little... Look, little key ring there, as you can see. I can't remember what, what was on this disc. I mean, kids of nowadays don't even, kids nowadays don't even know what this is. Unless they're playing video games. Honestly, they don't know what this is. It's, everything is streamed and all that, but you've got the disc. I can't remember what was on that. Uh, you've got the card. That's an uh, accessory there. Um, yeah, let's just, um, let me put this uh, charger away. Do you know what I mean? Put that neatly. Get this box out of the way. Because it's one big box. But yeah, man, we know how hype these are. Um, look at these. I mean, as I said, I would love to be able to light them up for you, but unfortunately I can't because I haven't charged them in over a decade. Um, but these, again, hyped up to the max. Released in 2011. Um, won at auction. Now, I can't exactly remember what auction I won it on, but that's how I won these. Um, there's an old photo of me, actually, but, uh, when I did a big interview before about sneakers in my collection. There's a picture of me when I had no hair, kind of next to the uh pictures but yeah i mean listen th these i think now still go for about fifteen thousand pounds but they then re-released re this particular shoe in 2016 i want to say 2016-17 with power laces and they go for now like some i think the last sale was fifty thousand pounds which is absolutely bonkers but these are absolutely fantastic i love back to the future like I, I know i'm in the minority here when i say back to the future three is my favorite i know a lot of people like one because it's original two's all right people hate three three per is my personal favorite when they're in the the old west um but again these are just fantastic but i, I think now i found them in the loft which is in is poor really poor i think these are for display i've seen a lot of people there's a lot of videos out there on on youtube and various platforms where you're seeing guys absolutely do all kind of damage to them now again i don't understand that i, I get it you're trying to make content and all that kind of stuff but when you've got beauties like these and the collective items that are going for massive money why is the last thing you want to do is, is mash them up? Why would you want to do that? I never quite understand that. So these will be getting displayed. Hopefully, a bit further down the line, I will charge them for you so you can have a good look. Listen, I'm pressing the button. Can't get no juice. No juice out of them. Absolutely none. So 
Oh, I've got a little blood stain on there. I don't know how that, that got on there. Hey, you see how that got on there? Yeah, a little bit of blood stain there. Ooh, don't know about that. But yeah, so hopefully further down the line, I'll be able to give it a little bit of a charge and let you guys have a good look at this shoe because, I mean, this is an iconic shoe, right, from a really iconic movie. Um, so yeah, I'd love to be able to give you more, but I'm just delighted that I've managed to find them in such good conditions. Guys, as always, I need the, in the engagement with you, with you. I want you to tell me what you think of this shoe. There's no point in me even asking that ridiculous question. Are you going to try a copper bear? Because the price on these are, are absolutely bonkers. And I can't encourage anyone in today's climate to go out and try and purchase a pair of these because A, you don't know if you're getting a legit pair. And secondly, they're big, big money. Um, and there's, it's not even a shoe that looks that you can really wear, is it? It's more that it's, it's a collectible piece where you put them on the on a shelf in a glass cabinet and you go back to the future trainer. So um, I'm not going to try and encourage you guys to get, get them. If you have got a pair, though, and you want to engage and talk to me about them and what you feel about this shoe, I love all that. Um, but as always, I want you guys to hit up the comments. Let me know what you think of these. Are these one of the most iconic shoes ever? Uh, or do you think they're just overhyped and they're just a, a weird looking shoe? Let me know in the comments. As always, you guys, love to hear from you. Enjoy your day. Stay safe. Peace.